hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie Mendoza and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I got my GED I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what led me to that point and then I'm going to get all into the details of exactly how to get it the website you use how to register for your exam how to study for your exam so that you guys can get it as soon as possible i got mine within a month so if i did it i know you guys can and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i did it the first thing i want to talk about is what led me to getting my ged so i had my daughter in september and when i had my daughter i went back to work right away i had started an online network marketing business selling um skincare products hair products um there was a whole bunch of wellness products as well that worked for a while like i was working and i had a couple sources of income and keep in mind i was really young i was 17 18 so i was still figuring things out it was around the next year in october that I started thinking like, okay, no, I need more. Like I cannot work these little pain jobs. And I just wanted to go back to school. Like I realized that I had missed out on high school years. It was little, like I just did not really care about school. So all of a sudden I wanna go back to school because I want a career. I want more money. I want to be able to provide for my daughter. So I started taking things a little bit more serious and the only thing that was always holding me back was okay I didn't graduate I don't have my GED what am I gonna do I never pursued my GED when I had just had my baby I was figuring things out as a new mom I don't know about you guys but I would always hear how hard it is to get your GED oh my gosh it takes forever to get your GED getting your GED is so hard if you didn't um go to high school if you didn't graduate high school what makes you think you're gonna be able to get your GED you don't know enough blah 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 those were all thoughts that were always in the back of my mind like no there's just no way I can get my GED I never paid attention in school I never cared about school but little did y'all know Little did I know that I'm smart. So all those thoughts I was thinking in my head, I'm like, nope, let me just try it out. You really don't know until you try it out. Career I was focused on was going into nursing. When I had labor, I was really intrigued with like the hospital setting, the nurses. I started watching Day in the Life of a Nurse. I started watching a whole bunch of videos and I was really, really inspired to be on the medical side of things. I ended up studying, taking my exams, passing, getting my GED, and there I was, a new college student. And that was life changing for me. Like, I felt so good being in college. When COVID happened, I ended up taking a break from school because honestly, I could not learn digitally like I needed to be in that environment to just feel motivated and learn things more hands on. So I took a break. But within that break, I decided to not just not do anything. I can't just be the type to just work, work, work. I feel like I always need to work towards something. And I started to notice how hard it was to go to school, take um, difficult classes because the classes I was needing to take now was anatomy and physiology two because i had already passed anatomy anatomy and physiology one so i was just taking prerequisites to get into the nursing program but once things got a little bit more challenging once i had to take the more difficult classes i was like you know what i'm just gonna wait until i can actually go in person take the labs in person and just have more hands on and then i was thinking okay if i want to do that i'm gonna have to be financially stable enough where I can put more effort into my school than my job and the way things were when like when I first started school um I had the help of her dad because at the time we lived together and we were together um so I had his help if I needed to go study or if I needed to go to school I also had my mom's help but now I'm starting to want to be a little bit more independent so I thought of a game plan that like if I start my own business I don't have to rely on these jobs because sometimes jobs require you to work weekends and they require you to clock in at this time and that time and if you're not available then you're not like needed. 
in the meantime i'll go to something more easier and i can pursue my um my own business so that i can be independent so that later on when i want to further my education i won't have to call into a boss and be like hey i'm not available this time i'll just be able to make my own schedule my own hours make my own income and i won't have to settle for minimum wage that's that so far my plan has been great here i ended up going to tricochi university of beauty culture um i took the aesthetics program so now I am an esthetician and I have started my own business. Didn't need my GED to go to that school. I opened up my own suite this year, so things are going great and they're going as planned. Of course, like not everything is just going smoothly. There has been so many challenges down the road. The vision, the plan is still the same. Oh, this little piece of hair is bothering me. So what led me to get my GED? I'm so excited to share these things with you because honestly truly they did change my life it if it wasn't for me having the courage to go out and take my ged i don't know where i'd be i'd probably be working a regular job and no idea no plan for my future so the fact that i'm out here following through with my plan the fact that i'm out here being able to help somebody or inspire somebody and give you guys my tips my advice it means a lot to me hopefully i do help somebody that was that without further ado we're gonna get right into how to get your ged you guys i wrote down a whole game plan for you guys hold on so the first thing you're gonna do is go to ged.com ged in capital that's the number one thing you're gonna do and you're going to make an account. You know how to make accounts, right? Your first name, your last name, your phone number. If you don't have an email, go to Google and make an email account. It's really easy, really fast, no payment required. And then you're going to go on the account. Once you're in, you're gonna go ahead and take placement testing. You have four subjects. You have language arts, which is reading and writing social studies, science, and math. Those are the four subjects that you're going, going to be tested on. So just see where you're at, subjects you need more help in. Hello, my name is Maria. This is the girl that I do it for. Here you go. <laughs> she keeps interrupting my video so that I can change her Barbies. Mm. Um, this is the last time I'm gonna change I your Barbies. Daddy. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Here you go. Once you're done with the placement test things, this is going to help you determine what subjects you need more help in. So for example, if you score low on math, then you know you're going to have to work a little bit extra on math. If you score very good on social studies, then that gives you the clue that, okay, I might not need to study too much for social studies. Two first steps that you need to do. Don't make this harder. I think these two steps are the hardest ones because you actually have to go to the website and at first it's hard because that's when you make the decision okay i'm going on this website to get my ged like go on it explore the website make the account and take your placement test i let you know where you stand with each subject we're going to study each subject individually this is a five-week game plan i would recommend studying one subject each week this is going to break things down for you and you're not going to have to be studying science in the morning social studies at night this just simplifies things a little bit more for you like one week you only have to focus on one subject that was what i did so if you want to go ahead and jot that down week one literature week two science week three social studies week four math and just literally focus on each subject so each week how you're going to study is to stay on ged.com you can literally pass your exams just by studying off of that website you have a lot of study tools there they have flashcards. they have quizzes the study tools, most of them are free. If you want a little bit extra study tools, then you do have to pay for those. If you don't understand a subject, just keep studying and repetition will help you. Keep using those study tools and you can't seem to understand the subject still. You can go on YouTube, maybe Google how to divide, type how to divide fractions, and type how to understand basic science, just stuff like that 
that you can watch extra tools that may help you you're already in a good place right now searching how to get your GED these you're getting information from people who already went through this process and who had the same doubts and fears as you you're already going in the right direction seeking how to get your GED when I had my GED no good like there was not really any good videos they weren't really helpful so that's why i try to be as helpful as i can be i like to motivate you guys like don't think that it's impossible so that's the advice that i have for you guys go to ged make your account see where you stand with it each subject take your placement test focus on each subject every week you're studying and focusing on the subject this is what you're going to do you're going to go on gd.com use their study tools they have quizzes flashcards if you need extra information on something watch a video maybe you're an auditory learner and you need to hear it but it's definitely possible like i can't express that enough and i hope you guys do get your gd i hope you guys get into a community college get into a trade school i hope you guys find a better job but once you're ready with each subject you just schedule the test the way i did it i studied the subject scheduled the test passed it boom one out the way study the subject and schedule the test you schedule the test in testing centers i think because of covid they do allow you to do it at home i don't know if it's still going on like that but regardless if you take it at home you have to turn your camera on and somebody is watching you while you take the test to make sure you're not cheating. Or if you go into a testing center, there's cameras, you go into a little room, log into the computer and take your test. So it is very serious. Don't think you can cheat your way. That's another thing. I don't know if you came into this video to get like a little cheat sheet on how to get your GD. No, you actually have to study and put in the work. And if that's not what you wanted to hear and you do find another way to get your GD, congrats and if you don't pass the subjects there are retakes i failed math the first time and i was like oh my gosh it's over i'm not gonna get my ged anymore like i don't know math that's not where you stop you study a little bit more and then you go back out there take the test and pass it okay we don't give up we do not give up over here what else so there is retakes we are around the holidays and if you don't have the fees to get your GED, ask a family member for the money. Um, each test is around $30. The retake is, I think, $10. You probably need about a hundred and something dollars to get your GED, but I definitely do think it's worth it. Um, and then to get your GED, you do have to pass a constitution test. Um, and I did that. Not at the testing center, but at my local community college. So look into your state and see if you need to also pass a constitution test. That just adds another test to your list, but it wasn't that bad. You can And you can take as much retakes for the constitution test. I think I retook that one like three times because I wasn't studying just because I knew that I could take it as many times as I want. So ignore all those limiting beliefs that you're not smart enough you're not good enough that the gd is so hard to get ignore all those thoughts a really good way to accomplish this goal is to set a date and find a purpose to it so my motivation to get my ged was um my mom's birthday and my daughter's birthday i wanted to get my ged before my daughter turned one and i wanted to get my ged to show my mom her birthday like as a little birthday gift to like make her proud of me and i did it and that's why i'm so aware how fast you can get your ged because i literally only took a couple weeks to study each subject and i needed to get it before my mom's birthday so I, I got it and i did it so when you set a goal and a purpose behind something you can achieve it so much faster with so much more motivation um focus on the feeling of how you're gonna feel when you get your ged you're gonna be able to brag about it show it to your family and you're going to be able to maybe get the job you want enroll in the college you want or even go to school for something Focus on that feeling and you just kind of have to manifest it into your life. Believe that it's already yours. Put in the work 
and you're gonna see how fast you get your GED. Thanks for coming to my TED talk because the first time I made this video I have so many people. Hopefully the second time around I explain myself a little bit better and I get to help a couple people. If you haven't gotten your GED already hopefully it motivates you to go out and get it. We just cannot live a, a regular regular life. We can't be working for these underpaying companies and jobs. So no, go out there, chase your dreams, get your GED. And that's that. If you guys like what you see and you stuck to the end, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe.